Today I want to compare two ways of covering the surface of light ray printed PLA parts. On the one hand we got this varnish. This is normally used for wood surfaces. And on the other hand we got my well-known mixture of resin and spiritus. And we can see on the first place here we need just one component. This is all we need. This is drying on the air. And here we have to mix three components. And also you can clean your brush with water so it's very easy and not that toxic. Not any danger signs here. While you know this uh, resin, this you need um, fresh air. You got a lot of warnings. This is more toxic and also smells. While this is absolutely neutral. So this should be much easier to use. And let's see uh, what is the difference. I will cover the fuselage, uh, the front section till here to see if it hardens the surface and also if there is any change after applying it. And I will also cover the wings, measure the weight, the additional weight and also see if there is any stability added while applying these liquids. So let's go. First take a look on the weight before applying anything. So this is 58 grams and this is for resin. I write this down and the other wing exactly the same for the varnish also 58 grams. The price for this is about 20 to 30 euro per kilogram. This is about the same like for these components. So there is not this big difference, but this should be much easier to use. Let's start. Everything we need is just a brush. Then open up the tin. And this is already mixed. I didn't have to stir it afterwards. So we can start immediately. Just remove this here from the... Yeah. So, and then we take the wing for the varnish and just apply it. It goes very easy. And we see it gets a bit darker afterwards. When you add too much on one area, you can see it is uh, white. So make sure that it is everywhere transparent. Then there is exactly the perfect amount or minimum amount added. It's a bit thick, could, could be more liquid. Maybe I add some water, let's see. Just here in these edges, it's a bit difficult to stay on the minimum amount. On the bigger surfaces, it's much easier to apply. Wing and elevator are done. You can see the surface looks nice. But they had been sanded right before, so the surface was opened and the varnish could um, suck into the surface. So this looks nice and clean. And here on the fuselage, there was no sanding done and the surface is closed and it can't suck in and it stays on the surface and this doesn't look so nice. So for this varnish, either You have to apply it very thin with these fast movements of your brush or the surface needs to be sanded right before. I think this is a disadvantage for this material because I think when it is uh, dry, this won't look any good. Another idea would be to remove the excess of the varnish afterwards with a paper cloth, but this adds a lot of more work to it and I think this makes no sense. Here you can see it's a slightly sanded. Let's see if there is a difference while applying. Well, we could start with the varnish immediately. For the resin we have to mix. I'm mixing 5 grams resin, 2 grams of hardener and 7 grams of spiritus. That we have a 50-50 mixture. This mixture is much more liquid than the varnish one. And it will be easier to apply. I mix it very well. It looks like this, one color. You use always a transparent cup to control the mixture. If it is nice and homogeneous. And then we can start. Yeah. It's much easier because it, it sucks immediately into the surface. And 
the whole whole process of applying looks much 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 more homogeneous. It doesn't stuck in these edges like the one-ish one. The whole process of applying is much more easy. I think I'm working on double speed like with the one-ish. This sucks immediately into the surface and you don't have to look afterwards if there are uh, any drops or is there too much of the material applied and remove it afterwards. This is very easy going. So let's go on with the fuselage. Here in this area we got some problems with the varnish right before and the resin is still sucking into the surface even if it's, it is not sanded. So also here the process, process of applying is much more easy and the result looks better in the first stage. Also I would say there is not this big change into the color of the surface after applying. The color stays. It's not that much getting darker like on the varnish one. Everything is covered. And when it comes to cleaning the tools, the brush from the resin, we have to put into a glass of acetone to clean it. And the brush from the varnish, we just can use water. So the, the cleaning process is even much more easy on the varnish. So now I will give, the, give them one day for, for curing. And we can see when we take a look, here is the resin side, this is varnish. There is not that big difference, looks mostly the same. Also on the wings and ailerons and tomorrow we will take a look at it. So these parts are now cured for 24 hours. Let's examine them. Here we got the resin wing. The surface is quite rough, feels a little bit like sandpaper. And the varnish, varnish is still smooth. It's also getting a bit more rough than without, but I think this down has to be sanded. So let's take a look at the weight. Before, both wings were both 58 grams. So what's now? So about two and a half gram uh, added on the resin wing. And just one gram is added on the vanish wing. So the weight is nearly nothing by vanishing the surface. This, I think this is good. Let's take a look on the fuselage. Same, this is more smooth with the vanish. The resin is more rough. Next I want to see if with this resin or vanish is added also some extra stability and strength. So I put some weights on it. We start at about 42 and this goes down to 38, so 5, 4 to 5 millimeter and on the other side 44 and we go down to 40, so 4 millimeter and already here it's good visible that the vanish one is much more bending goes much deeper so let's take the next 113 grams hopefully this doesn't break oh it's bending a lot it's really bending a lot on the resin side much less bending it's also bending but not as much here we are at 34 so one centimeter deeper and here we are under 30 28 and when I put on the last 70 grams I uh, think in the next seconds this will break <laughs> this looks not good and the resin one just stays yeah this is bending more and more this doesn't look good here we are now at 21, 21 and I hear crackle sound and here we are still at uh, nearly 30, 28, 28. 
So with the resin, there is really a lot of strength added, even if it weights a bit more. It's really an enormous difference between these both ailerons. So, and when I remove the weight, let's see what happened. It comes almost back to the original form. It's again nearly straight. And when I remove it here, okay, it's also not bad. It's, it's still a bit banded, not, it doesn't break, but um, this is much more stiff. Now these both ailerons are prepared for painting. Uh, the lower side, the vanished one is not sanded, the resin one and the resin one is sanded a little bit with 180 grit just to make it nice and smooth. And I want to paint it with this acrylic spray paint. Take a closer look on the resin side. There are just pi small pinholes on the surface. I will put them both together, make it better visible. Here is the resin, this is the vanish. And you see on the vanish there are more, more pinholes, so the surface is not that closed. It's, it's a bit, it's, it's a little bit different, but I think there is a difference. Here are also pinholes, but not that much. I think this is caused by the shrinking afterwards while, while curing of the vanish. So the, the surface is not that good like with the resin. I think this surface is better. Just a bit better, but it is better. Let's come to a conclusion. On the left side we got the resin parts and there is a bit more weight added. About 6% on the wing it's 2.5 gram but all over about 6%. And we also add much stability and the surface is more closed. It has to be sanded if uh, you want to have a good quality without this sandpaper like surface. But at the end it is more stiff and also the surface quality is better in my opinion. But you have to do a little bit more work. On the other side the vanish, there is very little weight added. This is just 2%, this is nearly nothing. The surface is almost good for, for painting. Just on some spots, maybe you, you need to sand a little bit if you like to. And the surface is not that smooth and these pinholes are just, just some are closed, most of them are still open and you can see this afterwards. But it's just if you take a very close look. When you go a little bit far away, this looks absolutely awesome. So even no problem. Uh, and this, with the vanish, you have less workload, less weight added. And yeah, this, I would say both has their pros and cons. Yeah, for me, I think I will stay at first at the resin because I like the stability that is added. And also it is a bit more heat resistant. Yeah, this makes absolutely uh, sense for me. But when I, uh, want to work faster and maybe on some parts where it is not necessary to add this extra stability, I will also work with the vanish. And here we can see all the materials I use for this experimental video. First the resin, the epoxy resin L385, the epoxy hardener H385, the spiritus, just normal bran or burn spiritus, then this covers all color from Molotov spray paint, acrylic spray paint and these strap and parquet lac 
or vanish in English for applying here on the wing. I was using this brush. This is a good quality brush, size 16. This means the width on the front. Yeah, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like to support this channel, you will find some links underneath. And now I will go on testing and building the JM1. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.